Repairs took all day long. There's even a bullet hole in the wall inside the building. A security guard was sitting inches away from harm's way. Army veteran Lloyd St. Rose faces attempted first degree murder and other charges following a shooting spree and arson over the weekend. Two fire engines, um, police, uh, ambulance, it was a whole lot of stuff. Firefighters responded to his Middle River home around 5.30 p.m. Saturday for a fire in a second floor bedroom. The department requested an arson investigation. Hours later, neighbors heard gunshots. It was boom, 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 and it didn't sound like a pistol. I think I, a pistol kind of sounds like a firecracker. This sound, um, you can hear like it's coming through your house. Police say no one was hurt. They say St. Rose fired a weapon at a gym on Crossroads Circle, which had someone inside it. He then allegedly took aim at the district court building in Essex. A security guard was inside. Court was closed Monday for repairs. I wish they would at least like Gave, given the people who were scheduled to come in a call or something, I had to leave work, obviously. Police had St. Rose surrounded early Sunday morning on a bridge over Lock Raven Reservoir. Witnesses say police fired tear gas into his vehicle, which led to a surrender. Police requested St. Rose undergo a psychiatric evaluation. This seems like a sad situation. He's going through something tough, and, you know, it was a small inconvenience to us today, but I can only imagine what he might be going through. On his Facebook page, St. Rose writes he believes his family is under surveillance and someone put a monitoring device on himself and a family member. Get help. Talk to somebody. Talk to your friends. Talk to anybody. It's not something you should be ashamed of. If you need help, ask for help. Swallow your pride. Why St. Rose acted out is still under investigation. He remains at the Baltimore County Detention Center on a no bail status. A preliminary hearing is tentatively set for December 17th. Reporting live from Essex, David Collins, WVAL TV 11 News.